28 degrees. Twenty five, twenty four. You can actually feel it. Feels cold as hell. We're looking at a new. It's a filter dryer. It's like an automated. Um, Car. KMP, it's got another one over that side, so we're not. We're going to get too ordered up to change them. So, ZR, well, ZR12, I thought it was a ZR90, it's bigger. ZR12. Um, condensing unit. We've been called for this because it's not working, um, which we've confirmed. We've just tried running it and it's just not starting. Um, it looks very oily around this, this area, all down the compressor and even the base. You can see that it's, it's either damp or it has a lot of oil rather than just a bit wet. Um, so we've put the gauges on there. Um, we've got it's on zero, it's no pressure there at all, so try a bit of puff a bit of nitrogen in there and uh, see if we can hear anything. I've shut the suction valve and the valve on the liquid line there, so we're only putting nitrogen into the condenser unit. Um, and it saves nitrogen. on the condensing unit rather than there could be a leak inside. Well I can hear that. Solid state um, HP switch, which is obviously waterproof. Um, the ones I carry on the van are not waterproof. Um, I get the special waterproof LP switches when they failed the other time. Um, I generally put these braided hoses on there because they're a lot more vibration proof than a copper. Um, this unit in the past has had a fracture on this pipe. This crack, um, on a straight piece of pipe, it's just had a crack in. I don't see the piece of pipe in there. I've got a flared up a piece of quarter inch copper. I'm going to braise that in there. But it's a bit, it's a bit too long. So one of the tricks for cutting capillaries is if you've got some wire strippers, and they need to be the, um, the scissor type where it, the two jaws pass each other, not not the normal wire cutters where they meet in the centre. And then uh, decide where you want to cut it. Pick a size that's only slightly smaller than the tube you've got, and that just puts a little nick in it. And usually, you can bend it back and forth, and it will snap off. 
you've still got a hole in the centre. Because if you use a normal wire cutters, it would probably squash it. I've got that um, repaired. I've flared a piece of quarter inch copper up and um, brazed the uh, capillary into it. And I've also heated up that whole coil till it was red hot and down here a bit and let it cool down. And what that's done is it's taken all the um, tension out of the copper so um, it's less likely to fracture in, um, in the future. Um, you know, if it was sort of only a few hours worth away from that piece snapping as well, um, that's, that's took that away. That's one of the good things with copper is once it gets work hardened, you can heat it up and let it cool down, and it's um, it's the same as it was when it was fresh again. Uh, we've got a few hundred pounds in there. Uh, it's dropping a bit. I think it's leaking through the head. obvious. I'll go around it properly in a minute and we'll um, check the unit over and then uh, vac it out and uh, recharge it and that'll do I think. I can hear the noise coming from this. Tap on there I think that's leaking. Pressure's going. Time for some new gauge lines, I think. 